Welcome to this I Use This App tutorial. Today we're using Cyberdust and we're going to go over how to pin a message to remember your conversation. So for example here I've got a chat waiting for me. It says, what's your favorite game for iOS right now? Well that's an easy one. Boom Beach by Supercell is definitely our favorite game. If you haven't seen the gameplay that we have right now, definitely stop by the channel and check out that playlist. It's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send and I'm going to send them a fun emoticon. And so now to tap the message, I just tap there, and it's going to pin it. Now on the left-hand side, you can see we have a folded edge. And we'll wait, and his message disappears. Mine goes right to the top. There's no need for me to pin the emoticon, because I don't need to remember that I sent that. So now I'll hit back. And in our chat list, you can see now on the right-hand side, we have a folded edge. And that's just a way for you to remember that you have a message there that you've pinned, so you can recall what you were talking about. Another great reason to do this would be if, let's say, you left the app, for example, on an important phone call and some time has gone by, you jump back in and you don't remember what you were talking about, well, that's a great way to jump right into the conversation again and know exactly where you left off. Just pin the last message that you sent, goes right to the top, and you're good to go. One thing to note, your friends won't be able to see that you've pinned that message and you would never be able to pin your friends' messages. You can only pin your own and you're the only one that sees that. Another good reason that you might want to pin, if you have a bunch of different chats going and you're getting confused, well, just simply pin your last message so you can remember what you were saying to which person. That's how to pin your messages. It's definitely a useful feature, and we'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the rest of our videos, and we'll look forward to seeing you in another tutorial.